Hello, I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to work with Illustrator and Photoshop together uh, to give you uh, all kinds of different options. So let's say you have uh, created some artwork in Illustrator and you want to bring it over and work with it in Photoshop. Now some people I uh, wonder what's the best way to do that and you know it used to be really hard because you would have to uh, export it as paths and then do, and you had to do all this mumbo jumbo to get it to work and it was just really it was really a pain but now they've made it really easy for Photoshop and Illustrator to work together and so uh, all you have to do is uh, select all your artwork hit copy and flip over to Photoshop and hit paste and when you when this comes up you have all these different options you have smart object pixels path and shape layer and so when bringing in in artwork from Illustrator I always like to uh, create it as a smart object just because if I want to go back and make edits, it's really easy, and I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you how with that today. So, if you click OK, it's going to pop in your graphics from Illustrator, and you can resize this and you know make it however you want. And when you're ready, just hit Enter to uh, commit your graphics, and so you can apply effects to this just like you would anything else so if you want to add a stroke around it let's make it a different color so you can get an idea okay so so you've got your effects but you're like wait I don't want to call it web design blog um, I want to call it web design site this little page icon here, if you double click it, you'll get this menu and basically it's telling you you have to save for your changes to take effect. And so it pops you back over into Illustrator and it's completely editable, especially with type. So you can just go in with your type and say site, you know, and change it and then just hit save. Command S or Control S if you're on a PC, and flip back over to Photoshop, and it updates instantly. So you have an automatic update to your graphics. So if you create, you know, this is excellent if you're working with shapes because if you create a shape and you're not happy with it, and you just say, "Well, I, I want to go in and alter it a little bit," all you have to do is just double click this smart object pop that over to Illustrator and if you're more comfortable with working it uh, with shapes in Illustrator than in Photoshop which in my opinion it's easier but that's just the way I've always worked but if you're more comfortable with working with shapes in Illustrator than in Photoshop you just pop right over make your edits hit save and then when you come back to Photoshop it's automatically updated and you don't have to redo any of your effects or layer styles or anything because it automatically updates with the smart object layer. This makes it really easy and you know it just saves you tons of time and frustration and it just makes your whole workflow really easy. I work with both Illustrator and Photoshop all the time together because together they're a killer combination because for vector graphics and shapes I create everything in Illustrator and then for effects and things like that I bring it into Photoshop I just think it's easier to work with and so I hope that helps you out a little bit and uh, if you have any questions be sure to uh, post them on my site or post them on my YouTube channel I uh, appreciate you guys uh, coming to uh, visit each week uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, uh, feel free to email me via the contact form on createabeacon.com. Uh, thanks, guys, and I'm James George, and this was Create a Beacon.